This is the uh, follow-up lesson to the one called uh, creating a web form. And what we're going to do to finish this up is to show you how you can have more than one form and have sort of like a main form, you press a button, you go to another form, and how you take stuff with you, right, which is a little bit different. And those are going to be called query strings. Now, before we do that, I just want to show you basically how you make a form and then make a second form and connect them. So let's say we're, this is our first form, obviously, and I will click over here. And first thing I'm going to do at the top is put a title. All right, and I'll use an H1. Okay, and I guess I could center that too if I wanted to. All right, and then I'll press enter, make another paragraph, and what I'll do here is now I'll just have a link to a second page. Now, the second page doesn't exist yet, but we're, we're going to make it in a second. Okay, and you notice that this is just a regular word. I could do whatever I wanted to, too. I could have it go on the left-hand side. You do whatever you want, but it's just a word. And I'm going to show you several different ways to link. Okay, now, how do you make a second page? What you do is you click up here on the right-hand side, and then you right-click and you go to add new item and we're going to add another web form and you can leave it as that default too but you know it's better to call it page two or something you know more reasonable and uh, everything else looks good we'll press add okay. and there is the second page okay so here's the second form and i'll just type in page two just to show you that it's the second form and then i'm going to go back to the first one okay so several ways to get to the other form. Think of it just like a real HTML page. You, you can just highlight this word or words, okay? And there's a, like a little chain link up here, just like there is in first page 2000, and we'll press it. And now it says, okay, where do you want to go? Well, you could go to a website. We don't have to. You can go to a file, all right? You can do anything you want. Now, if you just click Browse, there's the page right there, right? And you double click and then you press OK and that's it. It's done. Let's see if it actually works. All right, you press that and there's the second page. And then you go back. Now that's one way to go to a, another page. Another way, there's a, a bunch of these little things over here. There's a hyperlink, which is basically what we did. Uh, but how about we do a button? All right, so we're going to drag a button in here. Now, we we'll put a little word on the button. We'll say something like, go to page two. All right, now buttons are different though. Like, you can't click on the hyperlink like watch. Where, where is the hyperlink? It's gone. It's grayed out. You can't do it. In this one, you have to computer program it, right? So you have to double click. You go into the underground. And then the word that you use to go to another page is called a response dot redirect. Kind of weird, right? Quote. And then whatever you call it, your second page or third page or whatever you want to go to. Okay, let's try that one out. Okay, and it goes to the second page. So those are your two basic ways that I like to use on active server pages to go to the various pages. Now, what I want to finish up with is now, what if you type some information on your first page? Okay, and let me go back to it. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So maybe there's a text box somewhere on this page and you want to take that, maybe your name or some information, and put that or use that on the second page. How do you do that? Well, before I show you with a, an example, I want to mention something to do with the internet, okay? And uh, I'm just going to type in a search word in here. I want to look for cars. Okay. So I pass that to Google's search engine, and it's going to create a page for me. And this is basically what active server pages do. I'm just going to press enter, give it a couple seconds to find anything to do with cars. And what I want to do is, like, I don't care about the answers, because there's a whole bunch of things with cars in it, obviously. But I want you to look up here. Okay. This is a Google search query, and there's these funny things there. There's question mark. So that's the start of the query. 
and then there's Q, which is just a variable. Okay, it could have been anything you wanted. Okay, but Q equals cars. All right, that's called a, a query string. And then they attach some other queries, which I don't really know what they are. They're all kind of technical stuff. But this type of thing is how Google is passing whatever you typed to its server, the database, and then it's coming back with the results. So we're going to sort of simulate that kind of thing. We're going to make a page where we type in our name, and we're going to feed that name to the second page. I want to show you one that I've already pre-made. Okay, and what you're going to do basically is something like this for your assignment. So the one that you should look at if you want help is it's called Navigating Between Pages. And I'll open it up and we'll talk about it. And then you're going to do a little assignment based on this idea. So let me just run it for a second. Now, if you run it and get an error, well, we didn't get an error, but if you did, sometimes the way that it's got it set itself up it starts with the second page first so when you have more than one page and you're not sure which order it was and you know that you definitely want to start with this one you can right click on it and say set it as the start page okay and then you start it up okay anyway this page is a lot of stuff that i don't really care about anymore uh, there's all these different kinds of ways to link you can link with a, a picture you can link with anything right Let's go down to the bottom. This is the most important part. So what you're going to do for your little assignment is you're going to have like a, a sign-in screen, okay? And you can design it any way you want. That's just a table. And I want you to type in your name there. And then when you press sign in or something, watch what's going to happen. I'm going to go to the second page. And it took my name and attached it down to the bottom, okay? And then obviously you can return back to the main page type in something else and it uses that as the welcome okay now after it's welcome the first time it just goes back and says band member info okay and you're gonna do it for your own favorite band you get three pictures or whatever number of pictures that are related to the band and use the ideas I showed you in the previous video okay now let's talk a little bit about the nitty-gritty of this before we wrap it up so on the, the main page, all right, don't worry about all this top stuff, but let's go down to the bottom and let's look at this down here, okay? This is important. That's a text box and its name is text box one, remember that, okay? And then this is important. This is how we're going to activate something. Now watch when I double click on this. This is where you have to follow the code. There is this thing you do in computer programming when you have the computer remember stuff. What you basically do is you tell the computer, listen, I want you to remember a number or a word or something like that, right? So when it, you want to remember a word, you have to say this before it, string, and then you make up anything. So this isn't a special word. I just happen to use that one. Query is kind of a British term for looking up stuff. Okay. So you're telling the computer, I'm going to have a, a special variable that's going to have words in it, and words are anything with quotes. So now here you go, query string equals, and then you put a question mark. Remember how you saw that Google one? That question mark says this is the start of the query string. ID is just some name I make up, okay? So you typed in your login, I could have called it login, right? And then I've got equals, and then what I'm gonna do is attach the actual name that you signed in with, okay? So that plus sign basically says, take this and attach it to that okay so see this green stuff this is called comments and this is me explaining to you what I'm doing so even after I say it verbally you can read it again when you're looking at these uh, notes okay now you're ready to go now you're ready to go to the next page now the next page is called ban info but you're not just gonna go over there by yourself you're gonna bring this information that you just got from this page okay so that's the first part this is how you transfer information and go to the next page. Now, in the next page, a couple of things happen. Remember when I showed you in the previous video, when you double click, you go into the underground, there's a thing called page load. Well, we have to worry about post back, okay? Because what happens is, if this is the first time you're going over to this page, what I want the computer to do is take 
the name you typed in and use it somewhere. So down at the bottom here, there's a label. It's called label two, and that's where I'm gonna put the information. So let me go back into the underground. So first of all, I go, hey, is this the first time you've been here? Which means post back is false. And if it is, then what I do is I put in that little label at the bottom the following. Welcome to the band page. And I attach that to, now here is how you get the kind of the reverse of what you just did. You sent information here, now you gotta get it and put it on your screen. So this one, you don't use that thing response and then you know uh, redirect or whatever. What you do here is it's called request query string. Okay, so that's the word that we used before. And then this is the variable. That was the place where we stored whatever we were gonna try to remember. And in there would be my name, your name, whatever. Okay, now if this is not the first time we refresh this page, and that's when we keep switching the people's faces, then from then on we just say that. So let's look at it one more time. So what I'd like you to do is create a page, you know, have a nice title on it too. So don't do this obviously, but maybe have the, the band all together on the page. Then you're going to have a sign-in screen which you can design yourself. You're going to type your name in there, or press sign in, it'll say welcome and then do a, these drop boxes and pick as many or as few people as there is in the band that you're working on. Okay, and that's your little assignment that I want you to work on.